What's up everyone, this is Bad Tech G. In this video, we're ranking all the Marvel items with special guest Doomsday and Jankston. From Iron Man Repulsors to Shuri's Claws, we'll break down how each item performs in zero bill gameplay. Find out which items dominate and which ones fall short in this tier list. Okay, okay, let's just start with the shield. Yep. Shield? Yeah, this one? Yeah. Shield. So, I'm gonna talk first. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, so the shield, honestly, like, after it's nurse, it's not been the best. You know, it reminds me of the Chapter 5, Season 1, right, shield? Where it's so easy to get shot at and for the shield to, you know, to have so much recoil where, you know, you're not covered anymore. And when you start getting shot at, you know, like, it's not good anymore. It's not as good as it was at the beginning of the season. So if I had to come up with a conclusion, I'd say... Maybe C tier, you know, like it's something you can pick up if you really need it, but something that you shouldn't be having every single match. It's to be honest, it's kind of useless. The way it was back in Chapter 5, Season 1, it was a watch shield. The only thing I knew is that those things are getting annoying until I, got, I think I'm probably three or four weeks later in then Chapter 1, Season 1, probably. I'm sorry, Chapter 5, I'm 5 in Season 1. Back then, that time week five probably got nerfed. That's why the the old watch shields overpower and noise crap. A lot of players been using it since then. Chapter five season one. Now we've been chapter five season four. It was a Captain America shield. Same thing. It has a watch shield, but the watch shield is also useless because the people put pressure to shoot the shield to break and stun them at the same time. That I would say F a D tier and F tier, to be honest. That's my really? thought. Was. Okay. Well, honestly, now that I think about it, D tier is definitely something that suits him more because I realize that it doesn't even cover you fully. So if you're trying to cover somebody in front of you and there's somebody behind you, you're going to get shot at from behind and you're going to die. So definitely D tier. It's not as good as it would be. You know, okay. it would be higher. Up. I would honestly say, right, it will go a little higher because. Uh... Initially, right, when, when it got the first nerf, it was pretty There was Initially, when it was released, it had auto-aim, so it would just directly hit anyone of the first bounce. But after the nerf, it was like, it fell off quite literally, the meta. Mm -hmm. But right now, I would suggest that it has gone a bit higher because of the, all the auto-aims, right? You can use the shield to soak up a lot of auto-damage. Like, I was checking on social media, like someone suggested that you use the, all the auto aim devices, uh, the gauntlets, and uh, the auto aim turrets along with the shield. Soak up some damage, and when the player in you, you just you know you punished for someone for just hitting the shield and wasting their bullets. So I think it it can go to see a D tier for me. Like, like that. that I works. think you're right. I, uh, I like the analogy. It's you're right. Yeah, we have that. You know, it can bounce off the ground, and yeah. you, know, you can hit it from different angles. Yeah. You know, people using walls. I think yeah. it's something that you. Know, does give it some value, so I think it is yeah. money. On its own, like it, it's pretty low. But uh, if you you combine with the auto turret or the Iron Man gauntlets, then I it has some value, right? It it provides some, some kind of utility or damage or damage reduction. I would say. Yes, it's right. see. Mm, okay, so let's continue. Uh, the next gun that we're going to talk about is let's just talk about mm, what's another gun that we really like. Let's talk about the auto turret, you know, like, it's a cool mechanic that we yeah. got this season, you know? Mechanic. Kind of reminds me of, you know, the suitcase, you know, that we had. Yeah. That it's kind of like carrying the suitcase with yeah. you. So, yeah. like, it's That's nice. I think it, it's it's pretty balanced right now, I think. It did not get any nerfed. It's been the same way since it came out, right? So, I would yeah. either either put it in A or I would either put it in B because it's... It's not that overpowerful that, you know, you just run away when you see someone carrying an auto turret. You can disable it. So that that is one mechanic that, that, you know, that you can counter it, right? And if you can counter it, you can play against it. So I would either put it in A tier or B tier. I think B tier would be good because... Wait, continue. <laughs> because it's quite balanced, I would say. It's one of the most balanced item of the season right now. Yeah, it's been like, overly used. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Solely used, but it's quite balanced. So it does not give. It actually helps a helps the player who have less game awareness and uh, you know who are just developing their aim right now. So it, it has helped okay. me a lot of time to scout enemies from behind. You know, 
when someone is trying to uh, creep up on you from behind it's it's quite useful i i would put it in either b or a tier a really good mechanic that the turret has is mm-hmm. that somebody is using the um, iron man flight kit and you know like you have like bad aim or something yeah. like that and you just like basically shoot them out of the air mm-hmm. the auto turret locks onto them like while they're flying it's able to shoot them down so i think that's what makes the auto turret pretty above average and you yeah. know like the suitcases have always you know even back in chapter five season one you know they were pretty good and you, i forget what it was called back in the chapter four season four during last resort you know, they yeah. were really good yeah. so it's just that ability to have you know that extra extra um, you know hit points of damage the, you know it, the bigger uh, talents right the bigger talents yeah my, so, I, think I think it's my, and i think about my know about the, the auto talents it's been there since the season came out. It's pretty good, but also it scans someone if someone's nearby, but it yeah. doesn't shoot. But when it gets too close, and I know it's not powerful enough, but it's good for a scan like nearby. It's like depends on pointing at you or someone or uh, what you call it. It's, it reminds me of one for those turrets from Chapter Four, Season Four. About like a year ago. Yeah. So it's basically my fault. My order is pretty good, balanced, but it's not powerful though. If they buff it, they should be A tier. But if they nerfed it, I don't want to say about that one. But we, we can move on that one. That's all I can say. Yeah, I think uh, one, let's go ahead and one more mechanic that okay. new players struggle with is vertical aiming, right? And uh, because of the jetpacks, everyone is in there. So this this offers some, some vertical shooting to new. That, that that's fine. Yeah, or I aim because like I yeah. didn't figure. Yeah. So let's talk about Shuri's um Black Panther gloves. I'll start off. Yeah. These things are incredibly good. Like honestly, from my time of using them, they're better than the jetpack. And the only reason why I'm saying this is people struggle. Even even like the most experienced people struggle with a quick dash. You know, like shock yeah. waves. They're very good at getting you out of situations real quick. Uh, I think the Shuri's Black Panther claws kind of works similarly. Because they shoot you in a vertical line really quickly. Yeah. Meaning you can't you can't track that very quick because you know you're going really fast and you know like you're able to pounce on players as well. The problem with these uh, Black Panther claws is that they don't do that much damage. You know, like it's it's an okay item when it comes to um fighting, but in terms of you know like we're talking about mobility here because like I'm pretty sure most. Guild players are using this as a mobility item. Yeah. It's really good. Something that I really don't like about these though, and I think that it makes it very, it makes it lack in value, is that you can't dash twice. They're not like Nitro Fist, you know, where you can like keep dashing yeah. up or like keep dashing forward without, you know, touching the ground. With the Shuri's, you have to touch the ground yeah. forcefully or else you it won't continue to dash forward. So, if anything, I would give these an A tier, just not S tier, because, you know, they're not the best mobility item that you should be carrying. But they're okay. i be honest. I mean, my, my side about the uh, Panther Claws, they're okay to most of the parts. But is when you get a fight with those things, don't get closer when you get shoot. Like, if someone squats you with the cat, some of that, they t- doesn't take much damage. It's, it's kind of useless. And good is kind of mid at the same time, but the only about the Sherry Claws is that like ever since the game came out, it's kind of useless. But until the buff did, the almost useless is like it raises your stamina and stuff, whatever. But the only thing I knew is that uh, if they buffed it again, the bitch should be able, like an S tail, so you can get like a remnant stamina while you're wearing it. If um, they- it would get women without super touch, yeah. super touch ability makes it really good because you know by me testing it out i'm pretty sure it makes you pounce even further and it gives you infinite stamina like on top of pouncing you can run and then you can pounce again and you can run and you can pounce again and you know it becomes a cycle of infinite mobility for a good so that's what makes it valuable i think uh, it's good for fighting actually right like the rest of the utility shockwave and everything you just use it to escape or change your positioning, right? For Shuri, you can, I think you can quickly change your terrain and, and gain an advantage. I think that is what it uh, no, makes it better utility than than most of the movement items. I would still say that it yeah. is not better than the jetpack because the jetpack is quite OP right now because 
it literally allows you to gain high ground with, without any terrain but uh, it's, it's still a very good mobility item plus the supercharge is a very good ability for for some time if you pop it right if you know how to use it i think it can give you a very good advantage when fighting you just activate the supercharge you have a infinite sprint for some amount of time and you can quickly you know uh, get out of sight or break auto aim uh, for controller players you can change position very quickly you can go to high ground you can hide and i think that gives you a better advantage in fight so i would say while fighting i think it's one of the best ad uh, items right now because you don't use it for damage obviously it, i think the damage is around either 50 or 60 for each hit but that does not work the players who rely on damage too much and if your opponent has uh, a decent aim uh, you will be taken i think it's eight year is quite good for that yeah. one this thing is incredibly broken right now you're right <laughs> the glitch they they've tried nerfing it so many times yeah. this thing would be so broken if they hadn't nerfed it but they nerfed it i think like three times from yeah. the long or like four yeah. times it still remains broken because the glitch you can still do it you know for newer players i i think it's pretty good as well you know like just like the ability to fly around you know most new players don't have very good aim you don't have the best lobbies when you player you know like you won't get shot out very easily obviously and ranked seeing is pretty it's okay it's not like it's not bro it's broken because people have more like more experienced aim people have you, you know what you call it you'll run out of the fuel more quicker because you're getting into more fights and stuff and you're just you know having to move around more but in you know regular pubs and uh, you know newer lobbies and for newer players this thing is incredibly broken and like once you learn the glitch it becomes an s tier item yeah I think, yeah, well, the thing my thought was, I didn't know what's enough about the uh, jetpack. I didn't notice what kind. It's like a few. I think enough to, to feel right. Or is it enough for the. Uh, I think the. the let me. First time let around. Let me bring them up on tour. I think the first time around, uh, they nerfed the boost speed, right? Because initially you used to travel a lot when you boost, right? That is why they were jetpack skating. Everyone was ju just jetpack uh, skating and getting across half of the map in like seconds so for first time around i think they nerfed the boost the distance that you traveled uh, while boosting and the second or third time around they nerfed the fuel consumption also the recharge time yeah initially when you jetpack right you could literally get half halfway across the map in like 10 or 15 seconds that was too op right so now, that's funny. yeah right now it's it's quite good actually right stia you everyone should have it in their loadout because a lot of people uh, you know just use the vertical maneuvering just you know get across the map that's nice but, but it also right gives you an advantage to scout right when, when you're just uh, rotating to a new place you can just quickly jetpack jet around and just scout the area from top Plus, uh, it's not that OP, right? When you are jetpacking nearby, I think around it, it gives the aud audio visual, right? The audio visual has a range yeah. of, I think, 200 meters. So people in the 200 meter radius will know that you are there. So it's not that OP, right? You can be scouted and you can be shot. So it's, it's. I think it's a really good item, right? For mobility wise, right? It's it's quite good. So I think <laughs> STR is justified for that one. Real quick, uh, let me talk about the nerfs real quick. The yeah. war machines hovers jet. This thing would have been absolutely broken, but I mean, they nerfed it. So they technically nerfed the boost fuel consumption, meaning you'll consume way more fuel. This thing used to have an insane, like, duration time. Like, I'm pretty sure it used to last, like, a minute. I think yeah. it was, like, 60 seconds of duration time, which was insane. And now, I think it lasts roughly around 25 seconds. Not that high. Especially yeah. if you're boosting a lot, you know. With the max speed was nerfed by 25%, meaning you go slower with this thing. And, you know, the duration was just overall nerfed by 12%. But, you know, I also have to say that this thing has been, like, vaulted in tournaments and stuff. But, like, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're talking to casual players here who just <laughs> play the game for fun. So, basically, yeah, this thing, still broken. It'll probably remain broken for the rest of the season. Pretty sure it'll be gone by, you know, by chapter 6 because, you know, we're getting an OG season next Next season, season so, yeah. yeah. And yeah, my thoughts about the Japanese. Ever since I used it, man, that that stuff is one of the most, one of the powerful mobile abilities I ever done since I had that. I was like, oh my god, bro. If what if if you're on the um like a jet pad while you're flying around scouting, right? You say you're going to scouting stuff, right? Yeah. If, if you're doing aims in down aim site, 
You're going to have a difficult time with aiming while you're jetpacked. Like, you have to aim down, to like boost you up. If, so, if, uh, if someone's played tournament or rank some of that, they basically they default it in tournament. But basically, if, like, you can fight to front to some of, like, if you use jetpacks, like, you're breaking cameras to some of that, or twist around. So that, I'll be, be honest with you, but, but if one of them, uh, jetpacks was one of the powerful, one of the powerful, overpowered mobile abilities I've ever done in my entire life. So uh, I would say the S tier for that one is pretty broken. Even since it just truly got nerfed three times, but that doesn't mean it's still powerful. They then nerfed it, and it's still powerful. So that's the reason that they you love it about the right, so about that. S tier for sure, no doubt. Right, even with the nerf, it's very powerful. It, it, yep. Yeah. Okay. So. So that's something we have to say about the jetpack. Broken, definitely use it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to, on to the next item. Let's go ahead and talk about, you know, a lot of you guys probably don't have too much knowledge, but let's talk about the um, Iron Man Flight Kit. Now, this is another mobility item that yes, that's, reminds that's me good. a lot of the wings, yeah. except the hitbox is smaller, and the boost yeah. and the advantage is way, way more. You know, they're yeah. better. I personally haven't used it that much, you know, like, I've been using the... Black Panther claws. I mean, we all have personal differences for mobility. I honestly think that viewers should choose what they feel the most comfortable with. You know, like, most comfortable with the Black Panther claws or the Iron Man flight kit, you know, that's what they should use. But most of us feel extremely comfortable with the jetpack. So, um, my initial rating for this would honestly be between A and B tier. Now, the pure mobility from this is insane. You travel so far. Like, yeah. there is by far no mobility item that... Like, you will, like, get this much use from. Like, this will send you, like, this is an exaggeration, but this will basically send you halfway across the map. Like, yeah. that's how broken this is. There's a couple of problems with it, though. It's, you can get shot out. Shot out. Like, with the, the wings, you would get shot, shot, shot out the air, you know. And, like, an experienced player who has this aim can shoot you out of the air. And then the item becomes completely useless. You're left with the cooldown. You're on the ground, you're having to travel by foot, and the chances of you dying are pretty high. In terms of, like, raw value, I think it's easier, but I think it's just the hesitation of, you know, like, you can get shot out, and the fight will go downhill with this thing if you get shot out by it. So, I definitely think this is B tier for right now, and take into consideration this thing also has limited fuel just like the jetpack so yeah. if you keep boosting, boosting which a lot of people boost a lot with this thing you're gonna run out of fuel and you're gonna be on the ground again for 20 seconds just running and with that risk of getting yeah. shot by another player yeah, well be honest go ahead, go ahead. well be honest might be honest the, uh, about the jet about the boots part it does mind me of chapter 5 season 2 when you get shot by wings when you use wings like the mobile ability but it's not, but they nerfed the wings ever since the chapter 2 came out. Well, no, I'm sorry, but season 2 came out. Well, the monthly of the chapter 2, season 2 one, I think so. But the boot itself is kind of useless, but the time itself is useless also. Because it takes too long to fly up and then over again. It does power, is overpower weapon, yes. But it's it's the timer itself is not good. It's not like good, not good timer, not cooldowns. The cooldown itself is not good. Say, my a, a, a boot itself, no. I say it's not good. I say it's broken, but it's not broken at the same time. It's gonna kind of mid, but I think it it's I think a, it's, it's a decent rotation item, right? If you're not in a fight, it's really good because of the. Starting animation, right? It it just takes like a second or a two charge up and then you take flight. So if you are rotating from point A to point B without any fights, it's a pretty decent item. And uh, the B tier listing is justified. But uh, the other aspects of it, right? The fuel consumption is also, it's quite decent. You can travel a large distance. That we can probably tag, it's quite good. But, you know, when if you want to start a fight with it or, you know, use it to escape, anyone can shoot you down. Because the first time I encountered anyone with boots, I, I took them down with 
quite easy right because for one and a half seconds you're not doing anything you're just trying to take flight and you're just a sitting target there if you are in the opening and you're trying to use it anyone can take you down you, even a novice player who's scattered because you're just like a blip on the crosshair just waiting to be shot off so i think the b tier is quite justified it's a decent rotation item yeah if as a rotation yeah item, and b is justified it's very justified you know for any skilled player this becomes useless but like in terms of like you just want to like get from like you said point a from point b it's really good it's yeah. just a good rotation overall trying to escape so from like, the storm you'll be out of the in seconds you know yeah okay it's a good rotation mm-hmm. but not good as when you get shot at in, in cooldowns. That's the that I hate the most, though. The cooldowns hate the most, oh. though. And let's go on to the next thing. These are the Doom Arcane Gauntlets. Um, oh, God. Man. God, these things, I have... I hate them. Now, it's not because, like, they're terrible. They're actually pretty nice to use. But, you know, in terms of, like... In terms of pure value they're pretty bad you're stuck in an animation of shooting people that it's to the point where if you get into a third party which is very common in zero blood and you're stuck doing that animation of shooting people you're gonna get shot out from the air like you're literally frozen in place in the air like somebody with a burst somebody with a striker can just come and shoot you while you're like in that animation and boom you're cracked and like if you're dependent on this thing it's like basically like a no skill item, you know, like it's easy to hit shots with it because um of the because of the spread and because of the explosive damage. But like rarely will you be like, I need these in a game and it's rarely something you should be carrying because just yeah, pure gunplay outskill the player who's using it, you know? If someone have a skills that no a skill issues, they are pussies. So that's what I know. That's what I know. If we, if, if we are a pussy or some of that, if we're picking at the stuff like that, or I would want to pick up the model and stand the gauntlet itself. The gauntlet, if you pick up the gauntlet, you're a pussy. That's true. What about you? Uh, I find it okay, right? But uh, the, the thing is that there's only one pair of gauntlet. And and that's it. There's only one in the game. Have that. Uh, it's it's good to have high gun because I I won my. Yeah, I made. Uh, so <laughs> and the one after. So when you have high ground is, but uh, on, you know, on an even playing field, uh, it it's quite clunky. The damage is good. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, uh, the bl- it, it has its advantages. It has like that one advantage, yeah. and then like those like ninety nine disadvantages. Yeah, but you know what? Like, it's not useless. Yeah, not useless, but not useful. Normal. And if there's only one pair. You're not gonna find many of these. And if the person who has it is dead and they left it in storm, or you know, they didn't even take out the medallion, then at that point, like, it becomes useless. It's an F tier item because you don't even have it. But, I think it's I think it's D tier, you know, like you could, but that's okay. Um, well, now we're gonna I'm, talk about Iron Man's combat kit. Oh God, yes. Oh. Um, gosh, I haven't even used this because of like how bad I think I, it is. Because like, <laughs> I love that it locks on. I heard Jenkson yeah. said it locks on. Yeah, it does. But um, yeah. it's definitely not something you should be carrying because it's I powerful. Mean, like. I mean, I think I like the ability where you can, like, zap people with it, or, like, you can do, like, a beam, but half the time, you, the player will literally be, have, be ha, um, will literally have to stand still for that beam to hit. If they're running around, jumping around, you're not hitting that. Like, there's no way you're hitting that. So, I think it's more like a C tier item, where it's not, That's you know, like, it's well. not, but it's, like, something that, like, it can have its uses, and it can have its place, and it can be, you know, like, if... Player is not expecting it, or like the I meant not the player. The opponent is not expecting it. Then you can make a play with it. But other than that, it's not something you should like, one hundred percent be carrying around this season. Yeah. I I would disagree. Our concept. 
it is well been yeah, yeah I mean, it's it, kind of quite been, yeah so. it literally gives you a, uh if i would it either in because uh, thing is right uh a or b yeah, tier yeah, so yeah, because this the b tier this this season right if you wear this and uh, this and auto auto turret then you lock on with because you are probably going to have an auto yesterday we we won a game i i won a game. we were not support for playing duos against and jacks mm-hmm. over there our, our trio partner had uh, abandoned the game somehow made it to the end game and uh, because of this in combination with the auto direct right uh, we got a we got a win it, it was quite obnoxious because uh, some of the players that i took out I, that i took them out they just because of the, yeah, yeah, yeah they just hit on their own yeah yeah so yeah. i guess it's both. I, yeah. I feel like it's going to get a nerf like yeah i can like i maybe tomorrow the it'll, the it'll get a nerf i feel like it might yeah so, yeah. you know rank reload out but um what's next is that oh the war oh. arsenal war machine ooh i like this that's a good okay. one Damn, that thing got a big nerf. I remember. Um, it's still good though. Yeah, I like good. enough of it. You know, like really innovative. But like I said, um, you're probably gonna get focused when you use it, unless you know you take out the whole lobby with it, which rarely happens nowadays. You know, like it's something that like if there's one team left and you're in end game, you should definitely have it because you know like just you know like spam rockets for the last team. You're putting so much yeah. pressure on them. There's no third parties, you know that, you know, or like if you're like an isolated area and you have this, you're probably gonna win that fight because of how you know, yeah. banning, it's you're gonna win the fight. So I think this is a B tier, like the top of a B tier item too. It's not A tier, because you know like, once like third party comes in and you're definitely gonna get focused, especially if you're still. Yes. But definitely B tier, and I really but- like like. It'd be S tier if it hadn't gotten nerfed. Because I yeah. got nerfed. How broken it was. So I think this is definitely still on the top of a B- the B tier though. It's really good and you know, it's, it's overall it can make or break a game too. It's not over it's not it's not only thing about the the uh, us know is the overpowered. It's annoying it's annoying weapons crap. Cause you gonna have cause you gonna get a spin weapons where you shoot up machine guns out of your glove. It doesn't mean you're gonna get double parted. You are gonna get destroyed in seconds by rockets. Like I'm not kidding. If we even got enough about a deuce the rockets, if we roll longer, and the um, the sculpture itself, it's was damaged. Was it used to be a hundred damage? Now it's an eighty damage per rockets to shoot out. The sculpture spots. If someone shoots you cobbles or some of that. Okay, how about this? If you are using the like bo- using like the building cobbles or something like that, right? And you shoot that spam out and someone else is using like rockets on you and shoots out you like you spam rockets while you shoot up rockets, you are done for. You, there's no way you can sc- stop in that thing. You just, like you can't escape it. Yeah, it's it's really good yeah. for starting mm-hmm. fights, right? Yeah. Either one of the rockets or Once one or two of the rockets hit you instantly. Plus, you're making the player move yeah. the direction that they do. There you have it. And also, you know, you're destroying their cover and stuff. Yeah. Um, but likely, um, once you know you get third party or something, you're gonna get focused. And you know, ever since they nerfed the how long the rockets take to reload, I think it's also been a some once like if this would really be s tier if they hadn't nerfed it at all I think but the initial um, version was this it did quite a lot you will be able yeah. to bur- burst yeah. out a person one barrage of of rockets and bullets now you can't do it oh and a team yeah. Yeah. now you can't do it uh, you know like a team. the rockets yeah because they also like nerf of the damage of the rockets uh they fire a little slower uh i would say it right it 
it would be at the bottom of A tier or the top of the. That's how it plays. Yeah. I I I would definitely. For me, for yeah, me, this does. this thing is my must have. Yeah. This and the auto. It's like these two things you know, I for like, always oh, carry. Like an experienced player, you know, like half the time they won't carry it because you know, they rely on their gun playing. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll be fine. And then most of the times, you know, they be really mobile, yeah. and you know, you'll have you'll struggle hitting, you know, those rockets um, on them. But like once you like if you catch them off guard, it's really good. So that's why this thing is definitely still pretty good, but just not as like amazing just because of the nerfs. It's not like it's not amazing all, but it's a normal weapon though. Jensen thinks it's annoying. It is actually. Yeah. It's annoying. To it play is pretty game. annoying to play some games. But like, if you're really like experienced, you'll you'll be fine. You know, you as long as you don't panic, you keep your calm. I think I think you'll be mostly fine. Yeah, you'll okay, be so fine. We're finished with all the guns, guys.